What's up guys, I'm Ira Shell, and this is Nuggets of Truth. This is the time of year that we remember and celebrate the birth of Christ. For those of you who don't know, Jesus was born 2,000 years ago in the city of David, which is Bethlehem of Judea. Now, if you're like me, you're thinking to yourself, why was Jesus born in Bethlehem? I think in order to understand why Bethlehem was chosen, we have to understand where Bethlehem is located. Jesus, due to numerous reasons that we'll get into in another video, had to be of the bloodline of Judah, the son of Israel, a.k.a. Jacob. That then begs the question of why Bethlehem, out of all of the cities in Judah, why was Bethlehem chosen? So, if we go back to the time of the kings of Israel and Judah, remember they were split into, into two because of King Solomon's sin, according to 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 9-13, through 13, which we'll read a little later. But the kingdom was split into two, Judah and Israel. Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, was king of Judah and Benjamin, while Jeroboam, the Ephraimite, was king of Israel. Now, Rehoboam, during this time, established fortified cities in Judah and Benjamin. Second Chronicles 11, verse 5 through 12. Rehoboam lived in Jerusalem, and he built cities for defense in Judah. He built Bethlehem, Edom, Tekoa, Bethzer, Soko, Adullam, Gath, Marisha, Zith, Adarim, Lashith, Azika, Zora, Ajalon, and Hebron, fortified cities that are in Judah and in Benjamin. He made the fortresses strong and put commanders in them and stores of food, oil, and wine. And he put shields and spears in all the cities and made them very strong. So he held Judah and Benjamin. Notice this first city mentioned. It's Bethlehem, the place of Jesus' birth. Now, just to clarify, Rehoboam didn't build the city of Bethlehem. Bethlehem was built before the time of Jacob and his 12 sons. The word translated here as built in verse 6 is actually the Hebrew word yaben, which means to be built, rebuilt, or establish. So, we should interpret this as Rehoboam was rebuilding or establishing Bethlehem as a fortified city. And Verses 11 and 12 that we just read actually confirms this. So why is it so important that Bethlehem was a fortified city? Well, the fortified cities were created or intended for the protection of the nation and the people. This ties into the prophecies or promises of the Messiah. According to scripture, the Messiah was to be king inheriting his father David's throne, Jeremiah chapter 23, 5-6. Behold, the days are coming, declares the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In, the, in his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will dwell securely. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. And again, we see in Ezekiel 34, 11 through 16, the same sentiment. For thus says the Lord God, behold, I, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock when he is among his sheep, that have been scattered, so will I seek out my sheep, and I will rescue them from all places where they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. And I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries, and will bring them into their own land. And I will feed them on the mountains of Israel by the ravines and in all of the inhabited places of the country." I will feed them with good pasture, and on the mountain heights of Israel shall be their grazing land. There they shall lie down in good grazing land, and on rich pasture they shall feed on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I myself will make them lie down, declares the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strayed, and I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak and the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them in justice. 
If Jesus the Messiah was prophesied to be a righteous king who would execute righteous judgment and justice, as well as be the good shepherd who takes care of his flock, protecting them from all things, and, and as well as going out to find them and return them back home, then would it not make sense that he would be born in a city that is intended to do those things? So why Bethlehem? out of all of those cities that Rehoboam established as fortified cities. Well, I believe a really good reason is that Bethlehem actually means house of bread, as my father so eloquently explained in his video, The Mystery of the Shepherds, which is under our Nuggets of Truth category and is extremely interesting, so I suggest you go check that out. Now, the reason that this is significant is because Jesus is the bread of life, John six thirty five. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. I believe this is a major key to the puzzle, but I think there could be a little bit more there. And I believe that we can find it in the prophecy of the massacre of Bethlehem in Matthew chapter 2, verse 18. A voice was heard in Ramah, weeping and loud lamentation. Rachel weeping for her children, she refused to be comforted because they are no more this prophecy was originally prophesied by jeremiah which is recorded in jeremiah chapter 31 verse 15 bethlehem is symbolically or spiritually called rachel rachel refers to jacob's second wife this was the wife that jacob loved most for she was the one that he actually was in love with he she was the one that he wanted to marry but his father-in-law laban tricked him into marrying leah first Here's the thing, God honors those we love. He honors people on our behalf. Look at Genesis chapter 21, verse 12 through 13. But God said to Abraham, be not displeased because of the boy and because of your slave woman. Whatever Sarah says to you, do as she tells you. For through Isaac shall your offspring be named. And I will make a nation of the son of the slave woman also because he is your offspring. God not only took care of Ishmael and Hagar for the sake of Abraham, but he made a great nation out of Ishmael as well. This isn't the only time we see this either. When King Solomon lived in sin after God's two warnings, God was going to rip the nation from his hands. But for the sake of his servant David, God relented. Instead, this is what happened in 1 Kings chapter 11, verse 11 through 13. Therefore, the Lord said to Solomon, Since this has been your practice and you have not kept my covenant and my statues that I have commanded you, I will surely tear the kingdom from you and will give it to your servant. Yet for the sake of David, your father, I will not do it in your days, but I will tear it out of the hand of your son. However, I will not tear away all the kingdom, but I will give one tribe to your son for the sake of David, my servant, and for the sake of Jerusalem that I have chosen. God honors those whom we love. So could this not be the same idea here with Rachel? God knew that Jacob loved Rachel more than Leah, whose line the Messiah would physically come through. But what if God was honoring that love Jacob had for Rachel by making her the spiritual or symbolic mother of Jesus? Now, I know what you're thinking, but just hear me out. God himself equated the children born of Bethlehem to be the children of Rachel, which we read earlier in Matthew chapter 2, verse 18. So what if God, in his mercy and love, honored Jacob's love for Rachel by allowing her to at the very least, to be a symbolic mother of the Messiah. Here's another interesting point. Rachel in Hebrew actually means you, which is a female sheep. Jesus was born the Lamb of God, our one and only sacrificial lamb for the atonement of our sins. John chapter 1, 29-30, Hebrews 9, 11-28. So isn't it fitting that the Lamb of God be born in Bethlehem, referred to as Rachel, which means female sheep? Now, the final solidifying argument for why God chose Bethlehem is because Bethlehem was the birthing place for the temple sacrificial lambs. And Jesus being our sacrificial lamb only makes sense for him to be born in the place 
where the sacrificial lambs are being born. But for more on the sacrificial lambs being born in Bethlehem, check out our video, The Mystery of the Shepherds, which is, again, under our Nuggets of Truth category. So just to sum everything up for you guys, the Messiah, Jesus, was born in Bethlehem of Judah because Bethlehem is one of the fortified cities that Rehoboam, the son of King Solomon, established to defend Judah and Benjamin. We believe that God specifically chose Bethlehem because Bethlehem means house of bread and Jesus is the bread of life. Also because Bethlehem is symbolically called Rachel who was Jacob's true love and her name means you which means female sheep. It was also the birthing place for the temple sacrificial lambs and Jesus is the lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our channel. And until next time, God bless.